Thank you for tuning in to Exeter TV. The meeting will be starting shortly. While we wait, let's learn more about Exeter TV. Exeter TV is the town's public and government access channels, available on Comcast channels 98 and 22. Channel 98 is your channel. If you have an idea for a program, want to host your own talk show, or submit a film, we're here to get your content on television. On Channel 22, we bring you live and replay coverage of government meetings and other town updates. A third channel, Blue Hawk Media, is operated by SAU 16 and can be found on Channel 13 with all your school sports, events, and meetings. You can watch Exeter TV online at exeternh.tv, Apple TV, and on Roku. Find us on social media for extra content. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell to get notified about live streams and new content. Tune in to our platforms every other Friday to watch the Exeter Bi-Weekly Report with recaps of recent events, updates from town departments, and messages from nonprofits the in your area. For September, whatever this is, 16. And um, I guess we'll, we need to start for the benefit of our recording secretary with a roll call. I don't know if we're running. Are we running? <laughs> we're not that, up there yet. No, that, they don't put that on. It doesn't work? No. Okay. Okay, I'm going to assume they got us started. Okay, so I am Dick Huber. Lionel Ingram. Warren Biggins. I'm Nico Papakostendis. Carl Wickstrom. And we have a quorum, so we're going to begin. Uh, if anybody else shows up, we will announce it so that the recording secretary will have the name. Okay, the first order of business would be to consider the draft minutes. Do we want to do that with the quorum we have? Let's get it out of the way. Okay, so does anybody have any comments? There are only two pages from last time, and I didn't see anything that I needed to uh, mention. My scan says I move to accept the minutes. And I'll second. All right, I move to accept. Uh, yes, that was Lionel, and that was Nico. And um, I guess all in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, say no. And anybody abstaining? There we go, unanimous. All right. So the next item on the agenda is to hear from Paul about how things are going. Hello, uh, Paul Falosage, Town Engineer. Um, the biggest item that we have been waiting for uh, was our request for extensions of timelines on our letter of deficiency. And we do have a letter from the state now allowing the um, um, completion date or the application for reconstruction of the dam or a plan otherwise uh, that went from June uh, 1st of 2022 to uh, June 1st of 2024. So that was approved. And also, uh, similarly, whatever we choose to fix our situation at Big Pocket, um, we've got a two-year extension on uh, the completion of that, which went from December 1st, 2025 to uh, now uh, December 1st, 2027. So we got the two-year extension on both of those. Excellent. Okay, uh, next next item i had mentioned that uh, we were ranked highly with the uh, state srf on the clean water uh, in the stormwater planning section we are number three on the list for that so ranked very highly uh, so for um, um, the pickpocket uh, feasibility analysis of how we're going to fix the situation. Uh, we put in there the amount of $350,000, of which $75,000 would be uh, principal uh, forgiveness. We don't have to take the full loan amount. I know it's a little higher. That was, that was just in case uh, we, we would want to have some extra money in there, but we don't have to have the full $350,000. We'll get concurrence with this uh, probably in the next month or two uh, as the SRF uh, program unfolds. OK, 
Can you remind me what SRF stands for? State? Uh, State Revolving Fund. State Revolving Fund. Thank you. Okay, and my third and final item that I have is good news also. I had mentioned uh, last time I was here, I think it was two months ago, that uh, we were applying for a Coastal Resilient Grant uh, for $40,000, and we were chosen for that grant. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we did is we had some preliminary work that we'd have to do in the feasibility study and put that into this application. The maximum amount of money we could have gotten was $40,000. We're matching uh, 20000 so the scope of, of the uh, task were a total of 60000 And we are in contract negotiations now with the state. Uh, we also have to find out uh, the intent of some of the NOAA comments on the grant application. And with that, it can be finalized. And I think the money would... Uh, become available uh, probably around January uh, of, of next year uh, with the Governor and Council awarding that uh, to us. So in short, we've got the $40,000 uh, grant and we have to finish contract, uh, the, you know, fi finalize the contract. How much of that was determined by the letter I wrote? <laughs> Well, it, it, it was important. I think, well, I'm glad that I was, was able was to important. contribute there. Yeah, that's, it was, that's it was very important. And in fact, we needed one for that section, so if you didn't write that, we would not have had uh, oh, uh, well, that, well. That, filled, that, that section filled in. I'm glad I have a good role to play. This is good. And so that concludes my report uh, on the projects. Do you have any any new information on either the siphon or or what the plan is on the pit pocket dam? Has that been are we making progress on that? I know you got the extensions, but are we just well? Let's stick with the pit pocket one since I already talked about it, and then why don't you elaborate what you're asking me for pit pocket? Uh, well, it seems like last time there was we were still a lot of things that had not been decided what the actual plan would be in terms of uh, are we going to raise up the uh, you, you're not going to know that next year at this time. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, <laughs> yeah. that's fine. So, it's, so what we're trying still, to do... Still, we're still just getting the money to figure it out. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Just making, and just, some of the preliminary analysis where we did uh, flow the river at the two and a half times 100-year storm event and come up with uh, a couple scenarios of what the <laughs> river height would look like is to show that we were moving with the project so that we could ask for these extensions okay. too, and we weren't just sitting back right. asking for extensions without producing some of the uh, tasks that we had to do. Okay, thanks. And then what about the siphon? The siphons, um, they are th going through the permitting process right okay. now. Uh, we, have, we don't have all the, the permits for that. Uh, when we do, it seems like... Um, um, the timing of the project now may be uh, about the time that we would need uh, town votes and that type of stuff. So, what were we going to? How were we going to come up with the money that we still needed? Yes, we're looking good for some of the recovery plan monies by the um, the elected officials and stuff, uh, but we would still be short. I heard that we got some kind of grant or loan or something to help. Well, we're, we're looking good for about six hundred thousand yeah, dollars, okay. and yeah. we're we're still a, a third short. Yeah. So right. where's that going to come? Still going to need from? some money, but yeah. You know, okay. there, there was no blessing. It, okay. it could possibly come from um, capital reserve monies and stuff, uh, or the timing is right with this uh, through. Uh, when people would want to be drilling through the ground and not being frozen and stuff, that uh, maybe uh, it'll line up for a town vote uh, coming up. Okay, and we did decide on the two new siphons, correct? That's what we're moving for. We're, we're moving with three more. Oh, I'm siphons. sorry, three new siphons. Yeah, three right. new siphons. And that's the design that we have moved forward. And uh, we also have... Uh, analysis of a contingency plan in case something happens drastic in between that. Let's hope not. <laughs> yeah, let's hope not. And it, it's, it's a good task that we've 
so, so we're not scurrying so, we're, sure. if something does happen. Okay, so we're waiting for funding for the engineering feasibility study for options for the pickpocket dam, right? And we have yes. to wait for you know the process of putting this on the on the ballot and getting it approved and all that sort of thing. That's correct. But okay. now what'll go on the ballot too when we ask for the money is oh by the way we've got an SRF loan that gives us 75,000 yeah. forgiveness plus we've got the coastal resilience grant that's another 40,000 so it's a looking uh, uh, more attractive the the inertia for that for the project is growing. Yeah. Excellent. That's pretty nice. Thanks, Paul. Okay, so let me ask what I asked before. Um, because of the timing of the events that are, we're waiting for, um, do we need a next meeting in one month or two months? And I believe I heard some indication that two months would be the right number. Yeah, if those are the two options, I would pick the second month. Okay, that would put us at November 18th, which is a week before Thanksgiving. Does that work for people? Three o'clock uh, on a do Thursday? Do we have anything else besides what the town is going to... Anything else that's arising that might be of interest to us? I'm not aware of things. I was going to mention the uh, our LY Festival planning, which that's, is underway. That's independent of this. Yeah, great. well, it's we're supposed yeah, to be involved a little bit, but I was going to mention that. I'm not aware of any other issues coming before our committee. Well, I move we... Take two months out and come back in November. November 18th. Second that. Okay, Lionel and... Uh, Carl. Carl uh, seconded, and I guess all in favor? Aye. 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 So all we'll opposed? come back after you come back from your hunt, right? Yeah. Oh, we'll get a full report of how you did on your hunt. Okay. No, not, not on the air. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no one was opposed to the date and nobody abstaining? I guess that's so it's unanimous. We're going to meet November 18th, 3 o'clock in the NOAC room. Perfect. Okay, so um, I did want to mention the ALY Festival planning is underway. And um, the current thinking is that they'll be holding two events, one in mid-May on a fixed date and one in late April on a date flexible to coincide with the ALY run. Okay, and the event will be, uh, well, it's going to feature single-use plastic-free uh, waste reduction with composting. Anyway, the, uh, the things they want to include are predict and run the alewife uh, arrival contest. In other words, people should predict when the alewife will arrive and there'd be a prize or something. A uh, pop-up alewife run based uh, event with flex state educational workshop that requires registration. Um, the Squamscut paddle, paddling uh, on the Squamscut. Mini film festival, beer, tent, acoustic music and art, kids events, crafts, chalk drawings, etc. And um, and design of an alewife mascot, a uh, list of participating businesses or a map of activities like the water trail. Uh, they're wanting to know what food could be delivered, food truck in the library parking lot, question uh, mark. Water quality, environmental fair. So they're going to be talking about water quality, river health, stormwater pollution, maybe raffle, rain barrel. Um, plastic-free and other sustainable initiatives, so they'd like to, whatever they provide, which should not involve single-use plastic. Electric vehicles, dam removal process and other river-related outreach. Trees, native plants, composting, New Hampshire fish, oysters, and eelgrass, list of participating businesses, fish ladder tour, uh, sea rise, and other uh, sea level rise maps. So, um, that's what was sort of gone over in an initial meeting to plan the, uh, the ALY Festival. And um, they would enjoy further involvement from our committee or any place else that would help them plan this and get this together. But it's looking like quite an event for the Exeter They want young folks. Young, they don't want us old people, really? Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, have they decided on a 
date or time of year or location? Well, or? mid-May of mid 2022 is okay. what they're thinking. And then uh, that's the fixed date. They're going to come up with a fixed date. And then there's another date that they want to be make flexible to capture the alewife run when it's actually coming up. And you mentioned the fish ladder. I'm, I'm surprised that we still have a fish ladder. There is one in pickpocket. Oh, a pickpocket. Oh, yeah. of course. Yeah, okay. But uh, we don't have a fish ladder here. It's actually, full of eels, right? Hmm? Full of eels. Eels. Oh, oh really? Hmm. Wow. Is that a harvestable uh, <laughs> resource? <laughs> okay, so that's what happened. And then I was asked to write a letter to help get this grant, and I'm glad that went well. It was nice that I could talk to Pam and get the uh, structure of it uh, the way it needed to be. And let's see, I think that is all that I had on the agenda. So does anybody else have other business? Public comment? Shall we move to adjourn the meeting? I think we have a quorum to do I that. Shall right? move. I'll second it if it needs it. Okay, and uh, that's Lionel and Carl. And um, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? All abstaining? It's unanimous. We're adjourned. You set a state record. Thank you for tuning in to Exeter TV. Exeter TV is the town's public and government access channels, available on Comcast channels 98 and 22. Channel 98 is your channel. If you have an idea for a program, want to host your own talk show, or submit a film, we're here to get your content on television. On Channel 22, we bring you live and replay coverage of government meetings and other town updates. A third channel, Blue Hawk Media, is operated by SAU 